Like many districts, Fairfield knows hybrid is like half a loaf, and plenty of parents are unhappy. This superintendent says he's doing the best he can. We know it's a difficult time. Um, we know these are difficult decisions. We know that the community, just like our country, is divided. Fairfield will divide by last name. Half the students Monday and Tuesday, the other half Thursday and Friday. Everyone will be at home Wednesdays. The idea is social distance. This mom with a sophomore son considers it too far out to work. My son plays football for Fairfield and he has practices four or five days a week. So in, in addition to the two days in school, he also is exposed to all of the other football players and the coaches that um, instruct them as well. Parents push for the traditional five days, noting students with special needs and data they consider suspect. The passion is palpable. It's their kids after all. We've got to get past that fear of the unknown because you've already allowed, you're already saying by allowing our kids, excuse me, I'm just, my heart's pumping too fast here, but it's, a, it's an important topic. One that this district and this board says it does not take casually. I'm no scientist, the superintendent says. I don't have all the answers, but I'm listening and making the call. When we have these meetings with health commissioners, I, a lot of times people make fun of me because I ask so many questions. I want to know as much as I can before I make a recommendation like this. This has been weighing heavily on all of us. It's Superintendent Smith who says that the hybrid model gives this district, he believes, its best chance at eventually returning to the five-day-a-week format. But, of course, he has no date certain for eventually. Reporting live in Fairfield, John London, WLWT News 5. All right, so, John, about a month from now, August 24th, the start date for Fairfield. What else does the district need to know before all of that? Yeah, Mike, they've extended the time uh, for parents to try to get an accurate count of those who want all virtual. Now, what they need to happen is that uh, parents need to let them know uh, whether they want to go from all virtual to the hybrid model or from vice versa, from the hybrid model to all virtual. But they need to know that, they say, by next Monday, August 3rd. All right, uh, John London, live for us tonight in Fairfield. Thank you so much, John. No